This is satsang, and satsang is a Sanskrit word that means coming together in reality. Of course, you might think, I'm always in reality. What's the big deal here? The big deal is that you actually are mostly in a state of fantasy. You're only partially in reality, or your fantasies are in reality. That's true, literally. But uh, there's usually, you're thinking about the past, you're thinking about the future, you're thinking about what you have to do, you're worrying about what someone said about you, or what someone thinks about you, or that last email you shouldn't have sent, or that last text message you wish you hadn't sent, or something. What you did wrong, what you did right, what you're going to achieve, what you're going to fail at. These are the thoughts that occupy most people most of the time, and we call these fantasies because they're not being in presence with what is and not dealing with circumstance and with any sense of immediacy or contact with your senses with things. So when we come to satsang, we have an opportunity, if we should choose to accept the mission, to relax a little bit, feel a little bit, maybe get back in touch with something that you're been longing to get back in touch with, or maybe be surprised, or just get together with people who are thinking about some things other than all the things I just mentioned. So during satsang, which is a very ancient practice, you can yawn. <laughs> satsang is not a holy schmoly affair, folks. So it's not the place where you have to sit really quietly and still uh, in some sort of fancy yoga posture. Satsang is a very casual, informal, intimate, conversational kind of a practice where you can ask any question that you have really literally about anything. I can't guarantee that I'll know what to say if you ask me about how to build a bridge or higher math. but. Uh, you really literally can. You can ask about this community, this tradition, about me, about high philosophical things, about what happened to you last night, uh, what you're thinking right now, how much you think this is stupid. You can really say anything or ask anything uh, that you like in satsang. And satsang is part of a whole group of practices that function in what I call call and response. So you ask or you speak and I say something back. Maybe somebody else says something back. This is actually the form of this entire tradition, which is from North India. Everything that functions in the tradition is call and response because our whole reality is actually cause of call and response. So when we enter into a practice of call and response, we're, we're getting in the swing. And I often think of it like... Um, you know, double jump rope where there's people holding on each other and you're jumping. It's kind of like getting in the getting in the jumping pattern, getting in the right way. Uh, when we understand that we're in a communicative situation, always there's always a response to everything we do. And part of the fruit of spiritual practice is to become more aware of that and to be able to play at call and response more skillfully.